Hey guys, it's Sportster104, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an updated bookshelf tour. Here is the overview. So I'm going to start with the bottom shelf, move upward, I'm going to go from left to right along each shelf. So first here on the bottom left, we have the Twilight Saga, Twilight New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And I got them at uh, this library book sale, but since I volunteer there, and they're really cheap, they're like, you can just have them. So that's that. I have not read them yet. And I don't know when I will. Then we move over here. Sorry, it's dark down here. I have two Hunger Games movie companions, Blink, which I have to read for summer, The Maze Runner, which I have not read yet, The Kite Runner, The Road, which I had to read last summer, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, The Secret Life of Bees, which I read for school, but is one of my all-time favorite books, Chains, The Giver. I just reread it recently because the movie came out, and oh my gosh, I loved the movie. It was really good. A Tale of Two Cities, which I also read for school. And then as a book end, I have that fandom candle that I made. Moving up, I have my Harry Potter collection by J.K. Rowling. First, I have these two companion books, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and the other is Quidditch Through the Ages. Then I have the actual Harry Potter books, starting with three paperbacks, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Then the next four I have in hardcover, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And to the right, I have my Cassandra Clare collection. So first is the Mortal Instruments. I have in paperback City of Bones, I'm Missing City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, I Don't Have City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Then I have my Infernal Devices. I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Clockwork Angel is on display because William Herondale is on the cover, so yes. The next shelf, which has The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have The Darkest Minds and Never Fade. I have two copies of Never Fade, the signed one I got from BookCon and the one I got for Christmas. And I have The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Then I have my two Rainbow Rowl books, Fangirl and Eleanor and Park. And these are all in hardcover. Over here, I have my Divergent collection by Veronica Roth. They're all in hardcover as well, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four. Then I have the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Moving up again, I have my Rick Riordan collection, the Red Pyramid, which I never finished, but it goes nicely with my paperback Percy Jackson collection. I have the Lightning Thief, two copies of the Sea of Monsters. The reason why is because my friend got me the box set, which has the book cover version, but before I got that, I got the movie cover version. Then the Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth, and the Last Olympian, which I am currently reading. So I'm almost done with the Percy Jackson series. Then I have my Legends trilogy by Marie Lu, Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. Over here, as you can tell, my second bookcase is shorter. So I just have my Harry Potter glasses and my wand up here, which lights up when you flick your wrist. It's really cool. It's Hermione's wand. Finally, the last shelf, I have the Master Trilogy by Ali Condi, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, The Elite, and The One. And the last book I have is Control by Lydia Kang. Thank you for watching. Once again, there is my bookcase. Bye, guys.